he bravely ran away. All right. Uh, you begin chasing off, uh, following the uh, the blood trail that has been left. Uh, as it ends up pattering out and dying, and then uh, there ends up not being a trail at all. I want you, the four of you, to again make perception plus notice checks. Uh, bonuses or penalties, I will handle in my head. Taking into account uh, the things that you have that I know give you bonuses to perception checks. And an unexpected error has occurred. It wasn't oh, even no. uh, Aaron's fault this time. He yes. was planning. He was trying. Uh, I'm working <laughs> through other people now. <laughs> Your oh, agents. No. He's wearing other people's roles. He never actually woke up. He was still... He was actually caught. You have uh, another perception plus notice for me, Aaron? Oh, right, right. Here we go. Okay. Let me go ahead and make a roll here. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, Ryan, you and only you, I want you to roll that check again. Okay. Uh, all the group ends up by uh, charging uh, together, maybe not all in one massive block of. What is that, 11? <laughs> I think it's 11. No, we're maybe, all holding hands running yeah. in a straight line. I think two groups of like, uh, maybe like a group of five and then a group of six as you end up working through it. Uh, everyone else uh, quickly loses track of uh, where this thing could have possibly gone. After all, it hovers, and once the blood trail disappears, uh, you don't really uh, see or hear much of anything else. Uh, the only thing that Fletch ends up hearing and Fletch is the only person who ends up hearing this, is a bit of, and this is, I'll actually end up moving you guys down here to the lengthy corridors to simulate this. Maybe, uh, let's see, down, uh, it's maybe 25, 30 yards. Uh, there's one of those great intersections where uh, a tracked uh, floor and then the vast hallway meets another sort of vast hallway. Uh... Fledge can hear sort of a a whimper, sort of like a weak human voice. Head towards it. Okay. I imagine as fast as he is, he'd be in the front anyway. <laughs> sure. Fledge can easily outdistance everyone. He so chooses. Uh, drawing closer. Given given recent events, I, I would say Fletch is definitely in fuck it mode right now. Uh, Fletch deal with this bullshit. Fletch as he as he draws closer can hear, oh, sweet Jesus, thank God, thank God it passed me. Oh, it didn't see me, thank God. Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. Can only hear that, not. Yeah, you can only hear that. From where? Uh, it would be uh, further up at the intersection and then towards your left. I'm planning to run straight towards it. Okay. Fletch uh, reaches the intersection, takes a left, and then immediately swings into, like, one of the rooms of the corridor. I uh, see. And, like, and you can hear, like, the voice going, like, Oh, sweet Jesus, it's coming back, it's coming back, it's coming back! Uh, Fletch bursts into uh, the room, what might have once been a storage room, uh, like a few tables, like, really shown, and he can actually end up seeing... Like, the cowering form of, uh, what, let's see, it's a uh, man who's wearing, like, an off-white dress shirt with, like, a loose collar, but that's smeared with blood. Uh, he's a, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, like, 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11, he's got a goatee, he's, uh, clean-shaven, uh, dark-skinned. Uh, when you put the flashlight, well, yeah, the infrared goggles. Uh, he's sort of, like, cowering there, like, in the corner are like tucked up so that he's like clutching his knees and like looking with utmost dread at the doorway which Fletch has like bust into. Was there actually a door? There was. I imagine it's like just just full run just bash it open. Yes. 
That's how motivated and upset and pissed Fletch was to fucking shoulder open the door. Literally just standing there in the doorway with, like, holding the flashlight in one hand, pointing it straight on him, which is it's infrared, but yeah. so that he can see. Yeah. It's like a, a silhouetted figure of a guy holding a katana in one hand, staring at him. He just screams, where did it go? Malcolm, who, the black man, who for his part can't fucking see anything. He's like, what? Uh, I can't see myself being rational right now. <laughs> I'm actually going to start, like, heavily walking towards him. And again, just screaming, where did it go? For his part, poor guy, he's he can't fucking see at all. <laughs> I don't know, just don't hurt me. The voice seems out of place, but it's really cracked and high-strung by this point. At least for him. Still just Cannot approaching him. him. You saw it. Which way did it go? I didn't see any. Who are you? I'm blind in here. You must have seen it. You said it walked by. I heard it. It doesn't make noise. I heard it. Yeah. Did you hear any of that exchange? Yes. For all of you have now gotten to the intersection and then to the doorway that's been burst open. When he says it, uh, he heard that it heard it and it doesn't make noise. I would say it's probably wearing someone else at this point. If he just keeps saying random panicky shit yeah I imagine I'd just cut him down okay well he can't see and if Fletch kills him brutal this is a bad which, which day ways to be could a stranger have, which way could it have gone just stalking back out towards the hallway it didn't have to end like this <laughs> it didn't have to be this uh. way <laughs> At this point, Fletch is, you know, not sure, looking around. There's several other, like, open doorways that lead to, obviously, other storage type things, but now it's, like, encompassing the size of how big this labyrinth is, and there's no longer a trail to follow. Eugene, did you tell us during the search that you were tied down? Strapped down. <clears throat> That you would strap me to an operating right. table. If it's ritualistic. Maybe. Have we been in this area before? Gag me too. Mm, no. This is not something that Fletch remembers. It's been like a blind running. You just killed a man. L L standing in the doorway is still... I imagine blood all across his front and dripping off the sword. Sure. He just glares at the group for a moment and then starts looking back towards where it could have gone. At this point, it could have scattered into any sort of, like, you know, any sort of room, any sort of ventilation, you know, with all the numerous passageways and hallways, and there's no longer a trail to follow. And who knows what else it can do. I'm ready to just start randomly searching. Hmm. I'm going searching. Okay. Fletch goes searching. Well, we can't leave him going off by his lonesome because if he gets killed, he'll just die and then someone will be If he wearing. gets killed, that'll make all of us look really bad. No, if he gets Even killed... Even worse. Then... Imagine if he gets possessed. Exactly. Yeah. We can't just mm -hmm. let him run Jack, off on his own. Jax and Ace look at each other and shake their heads. Um, they, uh, they along with Riggs, they're not gonna go along with the goose chase thing and leave everything else behind. Especially if the creature might have looped back into the buildings. There's long nothing no left to back in the buildings. There's your cat. My god. Nah. 
Williams and Zizane uh, still uh, still told to watch the roof. Uh, they end up heading back. Willie looks fucking terrified. He does not want to be a part of this. And so he will, you know, slide away. Get back here. Nope, can't make me. <laughs> Disappears into the darkness. <laughs> he fucking runs after the other NPCs who left. Yeah, as long as he's leaving with a group, yeah. no one should ever be off on their own right now. Which is why we need to catch up with Flood. Mm-hmm. Yep. Eh, I guess we get, I guess we run then. Okay. Because if someone ends up off on their own and then shows back up again. Okay. The rest of you end up catching up with Fletch. But at this point is randomly careening and searching through uh, rooms in the hopes to find something. Uh, give me a perception plus notice, Ryan. <sighs> okay. Uh, with that, uh, Fletch ends up hearing a, uh, a sound which is confirmed uh, whenever he's checking through one of the rooms. The ventilation, sort of like a wind, like a grate, has been ripped off its rivets, I guess you would say. And he can hear, like, faint sounds coming from the rest of the structure itself, like, above him. What kind of sounds? Sounds like someone, like, crawling through a vent. Well, uh, I guess there's not much choice but to check the opening. All right, peering in, looking uh, at the opening, uh, does not you don't immediately see anything. There are bins, and it's like the thing like intersects off, but all over you can see like remnants of blood, and perhaps like what might have been part of Missy's skin, like smeared against the walls of the ventilation shaft. So you said it's, it's all, like, uh, kind of, I don't know, the, the typical movie-type thing or yes, warehouse-type thing? The, the typical movie-slash-warehouse type of ventilation shafts. The vents are all above you, and you can kind of follow it? And yeah. Uh, size not, see, not so much that. Uh, they do, like, intersect and, like, like go into the walls at some points. They're not always in view. But they're, like, person-sized, though. Yes, they are. They are Splinter Cell Blacklist. Fucking Sam Fisher is totally able to crawl through these things. Sized. Okay. Good. Um. Yeah, I guess putting the katana away and pulling out the pistol. Give a grimace and crawl in after it. Do any of us see this? You're with him. Okay, so we did manage to catch up and stay caught up. Sure. Just Fletch, sure. Had, to well, doing, Fletch had to slow down in order yeah, to doing Yeah, doing things. random searching, you can't be sprinting as if you're chasing something you can see. Hey, I'm just making sure. Yeah. yeah. You can definitely see Fletch resolving to, like, sheath the katana and drawing the gun and climbing into the vent. Potman will actually say, what the fuck are you doing? We should. You can't fight him in there. We can't wait for him to pick us off, either. You will get eaten. He we takes eat people apart man. in close range. He doesn't have to swing. You can't survive in there. I'm already in the vent. <laughs> okay, Fletch is already in the vent going in. I'm going to follow the sound of him from below. Okay. Fuck, Potman will too. He can't shoot past him in there. Otherwise, Potman would be crawling in, too. But could Tony shoot past him? Maybe. No. Trusty Ari. It's, th that's going to have to be a situation where I tell you as the player, no, it would be impossible for your character to shoot past Fletch's frame. All right. Why'd you have to be so manly, Fletch? Oh, so much man meat. There's just not enough room. You would have a 100% chance of either hitting Fletch or the ventilation wall next to Fletch. Shooting him in the butt.
Okay. Uh, with that, uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think of what might be appropriate for the situation. Um, why don't you, Ryan? Uh, these are cramped quarters. Uh, I'm trying to see how well and fast you might be in these. Uh, give me a 1d10 plus your dexterity plus your constitution minus 4. Uh, plus con dex and 4? Yeah, minus 4. Minus 4. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and roll that Shitty one. Roll. <laughs> okay. It's pretty much uh, what the dice are doing for me. It's just ups and downs. Sure. One uh, stream to the other. Flesh ends up making a uh, great deal of noise, and actually, uh, it's slow going. Uh, the blood and sort of sm like skin smears along it's the hard, ventilation, which is pretty easy to follow. It does continue, but it's really just like he keeps slipping on the blood. His hands like lose their traction. He ends up, you know, like belly flopping under the vent, making a lot of noise. Like he picks himself back up in relativity and begins crawling again. Totally doing it on purpose so they can follow along from the outside. Yep. Well, yeah, it probably does help with that. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely easy. 100% easy to track flight. Uh, totally on purpose. Slips again. Um, that being said, uh, maybe maybe nine minutes of crawling through these ventilation shafts, you end up coming out at another room, uh, inside another room. The ventilation grate itself has also been sort of like it was punched out. And so there's like the remnants of what the grate used to be sort of like on the floor of the room. And then uh, the trail stops after that. Uh, quickly just... Yeah, being stuck at the the entrance hole, whatever, would mm -hmm. be useless. So just quickly try to kick out, kick and roll out of the vent and that quickly like, check so the room. Sounds like a good idea. I want you to give me a... Uh, say you don't have acrobatics things. Okay, we'll just make this a 1d10 plus your dexterity, minus 2. So an acrobatics check. <laughs> Okay, all right. In that case, that'll end up uh, not end up being a free attack of sorts. Uh, Fletch manages to skillfully kick out, uh, just as he sees written on his eyes, "You should not have followed me." This will end up being, uh, let's see here, go ahead and drag us up into yonder gray skin oh. room. Oh, I was resolved to force the encounter. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Because yeah. it ends up being, as he kicks out, it's right next, like, pressed against the wall off to the side of it. It's, what it's I expected. directly in uh, Fletch's melee range. It is desiccation. Yeah, and, that, was, uh, that was actually what I was hoping to, instead of just... Because I consider, like, either just drop out of the vent and quickly surge, or try to kick out kind of into the middle of the room. Yeah. Or to get momentum for the middle. Uh, I want you guys to make initiative rolls for me. I'm pretty sure it acts before me regardless. It'll be around before the other three characters make it to, like, the doorway of the room where they can actually see in. Yeah. And still rolling that 10. I forget about initiative still. I'm, I'm bad. Uh... There should be a button for it. I, no, I, I think I think it's just like any other check, and you would just like keep rolling the one d ten. The book doesn't say. All right. So I think so. Let me go ahead and uh, slap you on there. Slap it to base. All right. <laughs> Drag you folks who have uh, fast reaction ahead. Da -da 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 -da. And let me go ahead and make desiccation roll. Okay. Well, it's a miraculous for him that he does have fast reaction time because he rolled awfully. It's wonderfully bad. He rolled a whopping four. <laughs> oh, man. He done did it. He did horrible. 
Uh, with that in mind, uh, the other three characters, their their intentions are basically just going to be to get to the doorway so they can see in the room. You seem to do much better. Yeah. And if that's the case, I know that's case is going to do, and Fletch's first turn is actually going to be spent uh, seeing uh, uh, whether whether he actually even gets a turn, because uh, this calls for him taking a trip to the fear table. Let's see, minus willpower for him, which is three. Would he get any modifiers for being absolutely furious? No. Huh. Fear greater than anger. Fair enough. It it's is fun. all Fletch must be eaten. All it's right. Fletch will get his normal turn. Because uh, he suffers no successes on the fear table. Oh, that's right. It skips the roll for skips your this roll. guy. First time seeing him, skip your roll. That's pretty much what happened last time, too. Mm-hmm. Um, just trusty Tony just ran away screaming. The only time. Yeah, I'm... Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of how many shots would be a reasonable amount to fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think of, well, I mean reasonable within the time limit. Uh, I'll go for five if that's Sure. Possible. I will say that five is definitely possible. Let me uh, check something for uh, him. Let's see here. Where is that token at? I'm trying to find that fucking token. If I even get to my round. Let's see, what kind of. I thought so. Okay. Let me make sure that, uh, let's see, what weapon would that be? Alright, good. Wanted to make sure. Yep. Okay. Uh, the rest of you, uh, Trusty Tony ends up running into the doorway to see what's happening. Trusty Tony now takes a trip on the fear table. Goes, well, look, what do you know? Hmm, fancy that, it's desiccation, guys. Willpower. With oh. a missy hat. Oh. I, I do have... Okay, never you mind. Do, you. Yeah, I factored that in. Okay, that's uh, 14. 7 adds a plus 2. That takes us up to the 4th level success. Okay. Trusty Tony is paralyzed for one turn and loses three essence points. Yeah, I got enough. Doesn't matter about that. Right. I'm not even going to mark the essence loss down unless it, unless it starts adding up. Tommy loses, and due to all the amazing fucking tens he's rolled at this point, he's already seen desiccation once today. He doesn't have to take a trip. Ugh. Desiccation's turn. Uh, he writes, oh, and he actually writes, as an incidental action, you proved my it's... better last time. He actually uh, holds up a gun of his own, an assault rifle, and he fires at point blanket Fletch. Bye bye, Fletch. Yeah. Not necessarily. Fletch has got quite a bit of uh, avoiding hacks. And desiccation obviously has shitty dexterity or agility. And he probably doesn't have any skill in shoot rifle. No, no. Dominic Bertuccio definitely had some skill in shooting rifles. Well, sorry, I tried. <laughs> what about what about assault rifles? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but the specific model. <laughs> Let's see here. Let me check the modifiers. I uh, say that's a four, uh, and then one for the point blank. Okay. And let's see. What's the rules for the multiple shot firing? I haven't really had a whole lot of characters do uh, that. It's minus one for every shot after the first. Yeah, unless it's unless it's a heavy recoil weapon, then it's minus two per. Okay. Same. And does it take a penalty on the first shot? No. no. No, not a penalty on the first shot. I just, I think it's separate, is it like separate attack rolls? I think it's separate attack rolls. Yeah. 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 Alright, just wanted to make sure. Okay. This ends up being one, two, and then three. 
Okay. All right. Uh, are so you wearing the body armor? Two possible forces. Just two A. Whatever. Uh, let's see here. I guess you can attempt. What's up? To... Oh, I see. I guess you can attempt the dodge. I thought. I think you can only ducking for cover uses dodge and dexterity. The result is greater than or equal to the attacker's test. It's the only action you can take on that turn. Uh, however, I guess you would get an extra dodge option and just take a, uh, a minus two penalty, I suppose. Looking here at the ranged combat sure, rules on the left. Defenses. I don't think it's going to matter, but... Uh... Okay. Don't try. That'll end up making the first attack hit, then. The second attack wouldn't. Okay, first attack hits. And this will be a... Uh... He wasn't aiming for anything, so... It so what's to... the role for staying conscious at negative hit points? Right, right it's arm. It's a survival role. Hands. Okay, this is targeting your right arm. Let me check to make sure for the damage. I That's still disagree be... with the whole random targeting thing. Yeah. That's going to be 8 damage uh, before it goes through armor, and then it would double after that. I don't think we have any armor that has arm protection. Okay, then. That would be 16 points of damage. Alright. Survival test is passed. Remains conscious. And uh, that was the dodge roll, so that's the only action that Fledge can take during his turn as he tries to die for cover. Basically, like, behind, like, a, like a desk. That's, like, between him and desiccation. As desiccation fucking hovers with an assault rifle. Yep. Grace runs over. She this is the first time that she's seen desiccation. One d ten minus. Two yeah, she plus finally gets six. to have the descriptions realized. Okay, that's two. That's three successes. Grace has a physical reaction. Fear causes a messy physical reaction, often involving bodily functions best left to the imagination. Hey, a that's minus, the second time we've gotten that, I think. A, a minus one penalty to all actions, the minus one of death, for two turns, and loses one essence point, Grace. I think the first what time the? someone threw up. No. No, they chose to, like, shit themselves instead. Yeah, that, that, that Chris chose that for Cat. Yeah. Oh, okay. To the vomit table. And then I commented that, like, why would that be your go-to when you could just throw up a little bit or something instead? And gotcha. take care. Uh, that ends up being Fletch's turn taken care of. Okay, Trusty Tony is paralyzed for this round. Eugene, declare. Uh, Fletch looks pretty bad off. Really, really bad off. And uh, Desiccation, rather than choosing melee, which didn't really hit Fletch at all at any fucking point, <laughs> is wielding an assault rifle, which the creature seems to handle quite well. Uh... Potman's. Mm, Potman's gonna aim for its head and then shoot. Okay. I'll go ahead and use this as an exact implemented distance. That 15, 15 yards, which for a 9mm pistol is within medium range. So that'll be a minus one. Okay. And, uh, there is poor lighting, but you were. Mm -hmm. All you have is. Uh, you're basically relying on like the flashlights of others, which are infrared in nature. I had an underbarrel normal flashlight. Okay, in that case, we'll just implement a minus a, a minus one on top of that. So minus four for headshot, minus one for the range, and minus one due to the poor lighting conditions. Minus six. Gotcha. Minus six in total. Uh, desiccation. I know what he's gonna do. Uh, Grace uh, is not paralyzed. She's just had a messy physical reaction. She can still act. I'm going to spend my time aiming. Okay. Roll. Well, no, she wouldn't do that now. And then oh. flinch. Um, are there any rules warrant or governing targeting items? <sighs> no. That's what I was saying all see, about. There are, uh, let's see here, third level success allows you to accomplish a tricky shot or strikes. So I guess if you wanted to try to hit, like, an item, like, say, the assault rifle uh, that he's holding, I would say that requires at least three successes on your attack roll. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to, instead of targeting him, actually, I'll go with four shots trying to hit the gun. Okay, that's fair. 